ما كيفاش درا انت عاد خصو تخطفني لو يدي روي دي شيت سخوت ما نفتي ايطاليان سي بلوكوندا سيكر يا I think it's uh, very important because um, you know it's a it's a great support for for artistic films, smaller films, and um, actually I was just talking to Nas that I uh, I've been I've been to to a, uh, a small festival in Ireland a year, probably a year ago, and it was a festival for independent films as well, and uh, I think it's just a great great place to be and. It's just you know interesting to see how many great European or you know films worldwide there are being are being made right now. Uh, well, my character's name is Majid. He's um, yeah. I think there are some similarities between you know. I think as an actor, you always take a bit of yourself into the into the character. And um, yeah, as, as I like to describe him, he's he's somebody that's stuck in between two worlds. Yeah, he's stuck in between the world of the sports and the world of the you know heavy street life. And um, but yeah, in, in 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 my opinion, he's a he's a good he's a good guy. He was just stuck in a uh, in a difficult situation. Um, I play a uh, role of Hamza, and that's the sick brother of uh, Majid Najib. So, <laughs> what, 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 have some tea. What was your name in the film again? It was uh, it's, it's so no, it's Majid. Uh, it's it's a brother of Majid, and um, actually, it's like I mean I, I have like five scenes in, in, in the whole movie, but I think. It, there are very important scenes because they are important for his character. He, I think his character lives in like he struggles with a lot of things, and the moment he's in the hospital visiting his brother, there's there's some kind of peace coming to that character, and I think for that reason, those scenes and that, that my character is important. Well, you see, the, the scenes between. Uh, Majid and his brother, they have like a very, um, like a strong symbolic value uh, in the film. Uh, and yeah, it's true, he's like a, if it's like a, a rare wo road, his station is like calm and it's like peaceful. Which is strange because the situation is not peaceful. <laughs> I mean, the, the, he's dying, so... You know, I think when you look at a, a long period of, of creating a film like this film or a film, um, it's so difficult to, 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 to stick labels on, on, on situations or days or you just try to you just try to to make what you what you want to make, and yeah, of course, you know, you, you, you have some moments that are that are special. I remember we, we were recording a sound, um, uh, um, our sound guy he wanted to do a recording of the sound in Turkey. We were standing on the top of a mountain, and I was watching all the crew members, and nobody was obviously speaking. And that was quite memorable, yeah, to see just, I don't know, 25 grown-up people saying nothing and holding what they were holding to, create, to, to record sound. Yeah. I have, like, a memorable moment. You know, I've just, I had, like, two, two days of shooting for this movie. But uh, those two days were two days. Very, yeah, I had just two days in the oh. hospital. Yeah, but those were very intensive days, um, heavy because the scenes are <laughs> are heavy. But um, 
But I, 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 all, I have already worked with this guy. He's like, he's like a brother, he's like a friend. We, we did a movie and also with the director. And this director, Jim Tahutu, is, is, is a man with a plan and does not show his emotions. And when we shoot those scenes, the first, I, I think I, I saw him for the first time with like um, wet eyes. And that was like very, mem very mem memorable. <laughs> yeah. Nice moment. Well, I think that's a uh, that's a director Jim. He, he um, him and I, we we went for um, we went for a walk. I think it was a month before we shot. Uh, we were about to shoot our first film, Robot, and we sh just shared this this um, curiosity for for this. Um, for this for this type of of, of of storytelling and especially the you know as I told you before the subject of the character stuck in between two worlds and then we got we got so enthusiastic w about this idea that we um, that immediately after we shot our first film he started writing uh, writing the script for this one. I just finished a book, I read a book uh, called Just Kids, uh, Patty Smith, that's why I'm a fan of, yeah. Of course, I have a little baby, five months, I'm a big, big, big fan of her. Uh, I'm going to do a play in New York uh, in two weeks. Yeah, and it's a Dutch play, it's a, it's a Dutch group, uh, theater group Amsterdam, and we're going to do Angels in America in New York at the BAM Festival. So that's the next thing I'm going to do. Um, I got this movie just opened uh, in Toronto, and it's playing now in Holland, and it's going to other festivals, so I'm going... I hope to go to a lot of festivals with a movie, and I do a lot of theaters right now. I play, I play in a, I have a monologue that I'm doing. <laughs>